I think people are gonna legit be surprised by how much money we make on YouTube. I hope my parents aren't watching. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be like, um, oh. Hey guys, you wanna, <laughs> we'll buy pizza tonight. <laughs> we thought you would do more with your life. Comment below, guess, what do you think we make on YouTube each month? By the month, for one month, what we do on YouTube, what do you think we make? Uh, so we just had a nasty storm roll through, lots of lightning and thunder and heavy rain. We're gonna head back to the barn and check this out. <laughs> and while we're doing that, I guess talk about our finances. Because <laughs> what better time to talk about how much money you make than to check to see how much stuff you have to fix and animals died. <laughs> Stay to the end. I have some exciting news about our channel going forward. So stay to the end for that exciting news. So exciting news at the end. Let's dive right into making those sweet Benjis. This is a good time to talk about how much we're making off of YouTube. One, because we're starting a new homestead. This is the spot. Let's build a homestead. And people are wondering what exactly is our budget. So that'll help us decide that. Also, we had a question from a viewer. They're wanting to know, they're starting a new business venture as well on their homestead. And they're wondering, is YouTube worth doing? On average, how much do you make from YouTube videos? They're wondering if it's worth the investment of purchasing a video camera and a laptop. This video will be a two-parter. How much we make should you start YouTube yourself. Also, one of the goals we have in, in filming us starting our new homestead is to show other people how they can do it, kind of give people who have been wanting to start a new homestead that push they might need. And they're wondering if they should start a YouTube channel at the same time. Would that be a good way to help support their homestead? Because <laughs> cows aren't going to make you any money. <laughs> Cows will not make you or save you any money, believe it or not. But they're cute. Yeah, Freddy. All right, I'm gonna wipe the calf drool off. Oh, she's licking me. That's because she missed you. We did not start a YouTube channel to make money. We started a podcast before we started a YouTube channel. And we started the YouTube channel to send people to the podcast. And we didn't start the podcast to make money. I needed a hobby. <laughs> Which is funny because I already had too many hobbies. That's the truth. Yeah. Any trees fall oh. down? Wow, we got a lot of water. It was, you should have seen it rolling off oh, this hill. This was all man. a pond. Now it's draining. Looks good here. Oh, in the gravel pads. Ooh, okay. I see the sheep. Are the they, sheep are there. They're, are they in or out? I think they're in. I just think they're in the corner okay. there. We're really excited because the new homestead we're building is up on a hilltop and uh, we're excited because we won't have these drainage issues up on a hilltop. Right now, they're, they're, everything's standing in a puddle. Okay, now everybody wants to know about the money. Right, sorry, the money. They're like, someone's gonna say in the comments, if you like, just wanna know how much money they make, skip Get ahead to, to 405. 45 minutes because that's how long it's gonna take us to tell you. <laughs> I started the podcast i did it for two years i didn't make a penny off of it we monetized the podcast two years in which is about when we started the youtube channel and we wound up monetizing the youtube channel in about a year or two of doing youtube it's friday 10 o'clock at night and something Awesome just happened. He just passed 5,000 subscribers. We just passed 5,000 subscribers. What do you think? We just passed 5,000 subscribers. Not only did we make 5,000 subscribers, we officially made our first check from our YouTube videos. $719. Now, you have to have so many views to monetize, right? Nowadays. Back okay. then, you didn't have to. No, but it does depend on how many views you're getting. And for us, we get consistent views around five to 10,000 per video. That's consistent. Now, big videos where a lot of people are interested, like, why are we- Like this one. Well, why are <laughs> 
why are we moving to a different farm? Those will get a lot more views. But for the average views we get, 5,000 to 10,000, on a 10,000 view video, we'll make about $100. This is one of those things that fluctuates because the whole way you get money from your videos is advertisers paying to run ads on your videos. If I do something in a video that advertisers don't like, like butcher an animal, I'll make less money off that video. During the holiday season when advertisers are trying to run as many ads as possible and they're you know, outbidding each other for paying on you know, ad revenue, ad spots, will make more money. So it does fluctuate, but uh, just a nice basic idea, 10,000 views, 100 bucks, sometimes more, sometimes less. Yeah, not much more though, right? I mean, it can be almost double. Some oh, videos wow. have 10,000 views and like $170. So okay. it, it goes like that. News to me. Yeah. Just shake their feet down a little bit, get the little. Yeah, they need more. Chick, 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 chick. Hey, baby. Is there They're no just... more heat in here? No, I don't have the heat, the heat on out. for them. It's been warm. And they're, uh, they're doing They okay. are fully feathered. They're yeah, they're really fully good. feathered. Our little guinea keats looking good. Now, we obviously have a library of old videos which can make money forever, which is one of the cool things about doing a YouTube channel. Some of our oldest videos still make a good amount of money every month. So while we usually make in one month's time, right now we're making three videos a week, that would be about $1,200 a month off of YouTube. We make more than that because of our library and the older videos that we have. So how much do we make every month on YouTube? That also fluctuates, but basically. On average, what we make monthly from YouTube is about 2,000 to 2,500. Austin says three, but we don't often see 3,000. Unless it's been like a great month and we have a viral, that, a viral video that really gets a lot of views, then we'll see more than around more than 3,000. But that's very unusual. <laughs> now, with our new homestead that we're building, if you haven't seen this series yet, we're building a new homestead, we are producing more videos. So if we make more videos, we make more money. And again, during this time of year, there's a lot of competition for that ad ah, spot. Freddy, stop it. That's enough. We gotta get out of Freddy's zone so the camera footage is acceptable. The current, yeah, so currently we're seeing more money than the beginning of the year. If you are a newer or smaller YouTube channel and you saw like a really good, this next couple months you're doing really good and then in January suddenly you're like, oh no, what happened? I'm not making any money. Don't dismay because it's pretty cyclical. Every last fourth quarter is the best quarter on YouTube for at least for a lot of homesteading channels. I know we're not the only ones. I've talked to others in our niche who say, yeah, the fourth quarter is really good. January, things dry up for a little while. So it averages out to what Kay said about 2,000-ish dollars a month. How do you live off $2,000 a month? Well, <laughs> we make money with other things. Is this where I get to tell them about my Only Farms account? People already say they can't watch you with the mustache. They just listen. <laughs> I don't know how that would do. We, we have to uh, pay people money to access that account. <laughs> Please. From the beginning, because we started with the podcast, we kind of, we hedged our bets. So we didn't just go in all <laughs> balls to the wall, right? How's that? Balls to the wall on YouTube. We had- Is that a sports reference or- Yes. Is it's it? not inappropriate, yes. We had podcasts, so that does provide us more income. Really emphasized being diversified in what we're doing because YouTube- Looks like it's an aviation reference. Ball-shaped grips on an aircraft joystick throttle, pushing the balls to the wall. All right, you're good. All right, so not sports, but aviation. With my extensive aviation knowledge, I knew that. It's easy for YouTube to 
to just get rid of your channel entirely. Three strikes, your channel's gone, that's it, you start over. We've seen it happen. So it was always important to us that we have other sources of revenue. So we have our podcast. Do you have $300,000? No, <laughs> I do not. That's the average price for building a home, around $300,000. So how can anybody afford to do that? Comment below if you... And we also a have a membership program <laughs> that will do interviews on there, uh, longer podcasts, more in-depth information for people who are taking the steps to actually start their homestead and what really like the nitty gritty information. Where on YouTube, it's not gonna be quite as popular. That's in our membership program. Thanks. We were using this all season to fill our IBC totes, but freezing weather's here and we can't use them anymore. So, I'm trying to do what Austin does. Winter is here. Okay, that brings us back to their question. They're starting a homestead business. They're starting their new homestead. Should they start a YouTube channel with it? Uh, should they buy a computer? Should they buy a camera to do all this? Well, if you look at what we're making and how long it's taken <laughs> us to get here, it doesn't make a lot of sense. If you're already starting a new homestead, a new business, it doesn't make a lot of sense to also invest in a camera and a laptop <laughs> to start your YouTube channel. You may, your channel may grow way faster than ours. We have seen so many channels that started off smaller just pass us by. So you could do it. The point that we're trying to make here isn't that you can't possibly do better than us. You definitely can. The point is, in the beginning, it will take work and you're not gonna make much back from it. So should you start a channel? And if so, how? I, I, you me, on the count of three, say what you think they should. One, two, three. I'm not answering this question because I want to say something else. Three, it yes, depends. I think yes. It can't hurt. Um, to everybody or to the people who are asking? Well, yeah, people who are asking. If they're not asking if they should start a channel, they probably don't want to, so don't start one if you don't want to. <laughs> there, are, there are people who are thinking of starting one who don't want to. Well, then no. I think you should only do it if you really want to. I don't think you should invest in really expensive equipment to do it. If you want to start a YouTube channel, to, yes. to document your homesteading journey, because you want to document your homesteading journey. You think it's fun to make these videos. Or you're promoting another business that you're starting on your homestead. That's a good one. As a marketing tool for another business. Don't start a YouTube channel to pay for your homestead. Yeah, you might get there eventually. You might get, if that's your only reason, you will 100% stop. Because it's a lot of work. Yeah, it's a lot on of work. Top of starting a homestead, on top of starting a homestead business, YouTube filming, editing, uh, publishing is a lot of work. If you're doing it because of all the reasons, like it'll be fun and you wanna document and you think it's cool and maybe you could start to monetize it eventually after a couple of years, you might do a lot better than us and be monetized in six months. You might be monetized in a month. But if not, you'll still be doing it in two years if you didn't start to make money. Yeah. But again, we don't suggest you buy no. an expensive camera, expensive microphones, a, a, laptop, a laptop, because yeah. do, 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 we all have one of these and they're way better than when we started. They're so good. They're so much better. You can make such good content, audio, video, and editing off your phone. And then there's the bonus, if you're not starting out investing in $5,000 worth of equipment, there's not the pressure there. Then you really can just kind of lean into doing it for fun, which was the whole reason Austin started this in the beginning was as a hobby. If you could go back, snap hey. your fingers, would you start a YouTube channel? If uh, I actually, yes, I would start a YouTube channel before my podcast. I would have just led with the YouTube channel because it did better faster. and faster. And I think I'd be in a different place if I had started YouTube sooner. If you could, would you start a YouTube channel? I didn't start a YouTube channel. <laughs> so I always, um, I say for me, I would never have a YouTube channel. I would never start one. If you wanted to do it again, so 
Yep. Uh, pros, I, li I like this thing. I'm, I'm not a super private person. It could be a problem at times. So pros are, I get to have my lifestyle and monetize that. I like that. Pros are, I'm my own boss. I love that. I hate having to ask somebody if I can go hunting tomorrow. Flexibility, I get super bored doing the same thing over and over, which is why my channel, if you look back over the six or seven years, can look a little ADD when it comes to like, pigs, now cows, now chickens, now pond, now Camel. land. Ponds. Oh, you want to be pros I too? I want to be pros too. I'm not negative about it entirely. Pros, Austin is very happy doing a YouTube channel. He does most of it. I like that he can be home. I like that we can do the homestead together because this is his job. That's the biggest pro for me. Another pro is I can look back eight years of YouTube videos and watch my little kids grow up. Hey everybody. Chickens like playing spots that are safe. Spots they never thought it's not night dove into the farm for some day. It's an egg. What are you getting? Don't eat it! Don't, Don't eat what? Eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. And that's Dana Baldo. It's Dan Dice, Nate, Kay, and me. Don't forget to. Bye bye. Don't forget to. My dad is so complicated. <laughs> Don't forget to. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. What kind of pigs are those? Tony, Tony. I don't have one. I will not Oh, yeah, but you know, good yeah. Nine, 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 nine. Just gonna stand here and refresh. Oh. Let's see who that one. Whoa! 54 on Thursday. I want to see who it is. I got to figure out who is that subscriber. We did it. Mommy, we have just the cutest footage. Things that we wouldn't have caught on video if we hadn't been doing a YouTube channel. Cons. Cons. I'm a very private person. I don't blossom under criticism. So we're putting ourselves out there in a public way. We get a lot of criticism, a lot of negativity. I feel the need to explain myself and defend myself a lot of times, and that can be very draining for me. And it, Austin says it, it makes me, what does it make me do? It affects how you, the content you make. It affects the content I make. Um, so instead of being positive and, and encouraging to people, it can get a little defensive, which for me is one of my biggest problems with YouTube. Cons of doing YouTube. Um, YouTube People can, criticize your mustache all the time. All the time. Don't grow a mustache and start a YouTube channel. Or grow it first. Grow it first and then start the YouTube channel. Uh, other cons. <laughs> other cons are YouTube can kind of turn you into something different than what you actually want to be. Austin's going yes. Uh, because you'll have a video pop, right? And it's... Maybe you were having a bad day and you made a super negative video and it's out there now and for some reason it just explodes. I've never done that. Because negativity sells. People will 100% watch more videos that are negative. So you see your negative video pop and then you're like, oh man, that was great. It earned me so much money. Now I'm gonna make another video. And before you know it, you're like, every video is becoming negative and it's really a hard balance to make a video that is exciting and people want to watch it and not make it negative or to clickbait or make it too sensational so yeah I don't like it's it's a balance you have to have and it's a hard balance to keep uh, really though, honestly, YouTube can be bang your head against the wall frustrating sometimes. The great mystery that is the algorithm, the, there's the algorithm scientists who know if you do this and you do this and you do this, then you do this. I need a map. 
And then there's the algorithm priests who are like, trust fall into the algorithm. Since the dragon warrior is among us. What are you pointing? The universe has brought us the... It's a huge mystery. What works for you one year, what works for you one month, what works for you one video will not work the next video. Whenever you think, I got this, this is gonna be huge, it isn't. And then you're like, oh man, that video was super lame and I look super goofy on it. Yeah. But it won't be big. Whoa, guess what video blows up? Two of our biggest videos, I'm like a week postpartum. <sighs> I'd walked out to check on the goat and she's kidding and I'm like out there in a, a tank top and a skirt, a one week postpartum, so I, I'm looking like I just had a baby a week ago and, and now you're delivering and I'm goat delivering kid. this goat and that's been seen by a, a million, million people. people. Yep. And I had a real bad day. Uh, we had just moved and I was super overwhelmed and I made this real venti negative like, oh man. It was literally like the door was broken on the barn and... It was like the straw that broke the back. And I made a big deal about it and I made a video about it. And of course that video blew up and every day a comment, this, this city boy don't... They're the big ones, they're the huge ones. Yeah. So careful. You careful never know. What you, put out there. you never know what's gonna be big. And I but we don't I don't delete that one because it's like a, a really I had a really bad day and I was super negative. And I feel like I could hide it, I could delete it, but they're gonna have a bad day and be it's, negative. It's true. And I could make myself look perfect. But I'm not. But I also don't want that to be the first impression and unfortunately it's a lot of people's first impression of me. Yeah. But it's also brought us more subscribers than any other video. For some reason. Oh, it's also had more unsubscribes than any other video. So But the ratio is pretty good though. So I'll take it. Cons are Maybe it's you have got to I think going in, you've got to decide what am I gonna make and what am I not gonna make. Yes. You can dis you can like Something will pop, that negative video will pop, you know, what's popular, what works, might not click on par with who you wanna be. And you have to decide early, even if this would work, you have to decide what lines you're not gonna cross, even if YouTube would reward it, because what's the thing? The train wrecks get mm -hmm. a lot of attention, but if you're trying to build a holistic business that you can stand behind, your family can stand behind, uh, then you have to just go into it saying, we're not gonna do this, we're not gonna do this, and just stick with that. And try not to, try to ignore people who are doing things you don't wanna do and it's working for them because you don't wanna do it, so don't do it. Vlog away? Yeah, and then we gotta do the big news also. Don't forget our big news. So if you want to have a great way to market a homestead business you're doing, if you want to... Document your family's history and the amazing changes you've done to a property and you don't mind people telling you you're an idiot <laughs> and telling you're an you idiot there you. I was your first troll you can say it on your channel Austin from home study first troll yeah if you've got thick skin or if you don't but you know what sometimes we need to toughen up a little bit because we were both we're not thick-skinned people <laughs> no. but we've gotten tougher through the yes. YouTube yes because it can be really rewarding yeah. when you get the people who tell you, you helped me start my homestead and now selling lamb and now I'm raising pigs and now I have my own homestead and I don't even watch your videos anymore because I don't too have busy. time. Like that is one of the most rewarding things that happened to us because we, of our podcast and YouTube channel. We literally said yesterday we were talking about this. We're smart. 
we're good business people. We've both made money doing our own businesses with our own customers. We could do something different and we could make more money doing it. One of the reasons we keep doing this is the payoff in the emails we get from people saying, you guys helped us, you guys inspired us. We had, we lived in the city and had nothing and now we're in the country and we grew our first chicken egg. Hmm. Right, like that is a huge, awesome reason to do this too. And any of you who've wrote us those emails, you're the reason we get past all the trolls. You're the reason we say, when the trolls get you down, you read one of those to every 100 troll comments and you're like, oh no, okay, good. I think we can do this. Yeah, so for those reasons, yes, you should do it. And maybe you'll get way bigger than us and make more money and that would be cool too. Give us a shout out on your channel if you if do. You do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now the big news. Yeah. I mean, you just kind of saw it. Hashtag Ask Homesteady. It's back. This is Ask Homesteady. Ask Homesteady. This is Ask Homesteady. Hello, welcome everybody to Ask Homesteady. This is the weekly show, the weekly show that we do, that we used to do, where we try to answer questions that you've left on our channel. All you need to do to get your questions answered is ask a question in this week's upcoming video with the hashtag, all one word, Ask Homesteady. Ask Homesteady. Let's talk about that in today's episode of Ask Homesteady. I'm not pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Especially going forward with our new homestead project, there are, will be a lot of interviews we're doing with experts in the field of construction or in the field of alternate building materials, in the fields of pole barn houses. We're going to be doing some in-depth interviews with them. So ask Homesteady, hashtag ask Homesteady in your comments and questions and we'll find them and try to answer them. If you're the one of those people right now who are like, what's Ask Homesteady? Watch this playlist. It's a series we used to do that we stopped doing where we answer your questions, we read them on the screen and we dive into them deep. We're gonna be answering your questions. I really like this episode of Ask Homesteady where we talked about cow questions. Uh, so check those out and we will next week answer some of your questions.